Sport Fishing Adventures with your host, NHL star Brendan Morrison, Grey Cup winner Chris Burns, and player turned analyst Gary Vault. Sport Fishing Adventures is brought to you by Toyota, Berkeley, Fenwick, Yamaha, and Gibbs Delta. Double, double, double. Awesome. There we go. All right. Nice big fish. Maybe the bite's coming on here. Oh, just spit it. Oh, he's on. That's just the bait coming off. Oh, it looks wow. like he spit it, eh? Yeah, I thought <laughs> he did. Welcome to Sport Fishing Adventures. This week's episode takes place on the beautiful west coast of Vancouver Island, Tofino, British Columbia. You know, I'm getting a little tired of you setting up our annual contest in your home turf. Well, I'm in the hole. Last year, you, you took care of me. You took care of business. Uh, on your in, home In on our your competition, home my home water, the Fraser River, there's sturgeon fishing. So I figured we'll go to my second home, my adopted home, Tofino. And I'll take you offshore here, and we'll have a contest to see who can land the biggest Chinook salmon today. Well, you know what? I am, uh, I am confident I can beat you in your house again. You should be confident. You know, build off of last year, but I gotta tell you, I've been out here a couple times this season. Yeah, I just got a, a couple good feeling, times, huh? A good feeling. You know, me and the fish have been, we got this thing going on a bond. I really feel good about my chances today. Well, you know what? I've been, uh, I've been practicing up in my home water and uh, my skills are sharp. We'll see what happens. Let's get out on the water and see who takes down the biggest fish. We've established you got home field advantage here. Tell us about the deal. So let's go with the largest uh, Chinook landed. Yeah. Let's say a leader touches a land. And then uh, I know you've been a bit of an artsy guy there living downtown Vancouver. There, <laughs> that makes town. me artsy. <laughs> yep, yep. And uh, <laughs> so we'll say the loser has to write and recite a poem for the winner. So you're going to write a haiku about me <laughs> uh, if you, beating you. If that's what you feel like, you know, expressing yourself with okay, towards yeah, me, yeah. I, I would respect that and appreciate it. I, I am not much of a poet. So I hope that uh, for your sake that I don't lose, but uh, that's, that's an interesting one. That's a first on Sport Fishing Adventures. That is the first. Writing and reciting poems. Stay tuned to see who is going to be the poet. Oh, look at that little jump back there, eh? He used the eyes of spring. Burns, he was just pulling up his line there, checking his weed situation and uh, kind of had my back turned to my rod here as it kind of happens a lot and it went off. Looks like we got a decent spring on here. That yeah. sound of that screaming reel is the sound of big fish. Where are you, oh, buddy? Hold on. Ah. Mid teens there, hey? It's a nice a decent fish. start. Whacked her good. Good. good thick fish. Yeah, beauty. Nice fish. On the board, first fish taking the lead here on my uh, partner today, Burnsy. Garbage. I don't think he's that nervous, so it's just started, so. Hopefully we get into the bite here now. It's just a little minnow. <laughs> a little tail bend there. Double up, double up. Okay. That was uh, like definitely didn't hammer that, eh? No, like he it just kind of sucked totally on it a little different. bit there and kind of reeled down on the clip a bit and, and he fed ended it up, to him a little yeah, bit. A little bit there. This home field advantage you got here, Mo. I don't know. It's out of the gate, quick, Bernie. But you know what's? It's, it's really how. It's not how you start. It's how you finish. That is that is very true. That is very true. I've won a few of these contests right at the uh, right at the buzzer. The last minute. Speaking of home fields and that, what uh, what were your favorite rinks to play in, or I guess being a uh, home team? What was your well, favorite I didn't, home rink? Well, I didn't. I didn't play in a whole lot of rinks. Um, we usually played Home football field. in stadiums. <laughs> um, well, you know, in college at, at Portland State, we had a really cool stadium downtown um, that was always fun. But probably, you know, the, the biggest advantage that I can remember is probably in Hamilton. Because yeah. the old Iverwind Stadium there was just, you know, wasn't a thing of beauty. But the biggest thing was that there was a six-foot cinder block wall all the way around the field at about, you know, 10 feet from the sideline. 
you had this giant wall. The benches were in dugouts, and so the fans are right on top of you. That's and uh, kind of, yeah, yeah, that's awesome. When loud, we were good, loud then, eh? loud because they're close. You know, it's not a big stadium, but uh, it was a lot of fun to play there. So I guess if you're a receiver, a running back, or a quarterback running out of bounds, you had to put the brakes on to, pretty quick. Oh yeah, quick. you had to look out. You had to look out because it came quick. There were lots of occasions where guys ended up right in the bench. Come on, buddy. Spunky little fish. Yeah. He's not not huge. He sees me over here. He does. Nice little spring, eh? It's about like the last one. Oh, he's a little guy. We'll let him go. Hey, he's little. Yeah. Drop your anchor. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Sport Fishing Adventures. Today we're fishing in Tofino, British Columbia, on the rugged west coast of Vancouver Island. Bernsey, what do you think about being in Tofino? You know, I love coming here. First time I fished up here was a couple years ago at your at your charity derby, and uh, it's always a surprise. There's always something special up here. The fishing is fantastic, and uh, it's one of the most beautiful places on the planet. You got the rugged coastline. You got beautiful sandy beaches, it, outstanding fishing. You know, people do say that they come here and say, you know, it's a magical place. It's a really special place, but there there is something about about this area that I think unless you've been here, unless you've experienced it, you just don't know. And it really is like like nowhere else on Earth. You know, sometimes when the bite is slow, I find eating a sandwich. Triggers fish to bite. See if it works. Okay, give it a shot. Double, double, double. Awesome. There we go. We knew it was gonna happen sooner it was or later. a matter of time. Brandon, clearly the sandwich worked. The sandwich worked, bud. When things aren't going quite the way you want them to, eat some food. Change something up. Eat a sandwich. Turn your hat sideways. We might have to do a rod dance here. I don't know. This one's still down. No, not quite yet. I'm under you. Yeah. Yours just uh, popped right off, eh? Yep. This is fun. A little Where's lull he? there. We were starting to wonder. Yeah, a little lull. You were you you bided your time. You waited patiently. I did. You, I did wait. You deserved that bite there. I worked what? for it. Oh yeah. That's a nice fish nice. right here. That is a nice fish. Yep. Oh. <laughs> I think going? I might be in the lead, buddy. Is it? Well, good for you. You waited for that. I told you it only takes one. Ooh, that's a nice fish. Beautiful double header here. <laughs> Looks like Burns, he just took the lead. He waited patiently for that fish. You got out early, used the home field advantage early on, but uh, I persevered. It only takes I one bite, I had a bite, sweet roll going bite. on my herring. That's it. All right. Nice big fish. Maybe the bite's coming on here. Let's get back to it. Better get busy. All right. That looks good. I think he's coming right at us. Feel the burn, feel the burn. Gone. Burnsy, it's that flasher swimming, the fish is winning. <laughs> I feel shame. Yeah. But it happens to the best of us, but some more than others. Hey, you know what? <laughs> I'm in the lead, I'm comfortable. <laughs> You're sitting pretty. You got a nice fish there. I'm not that comfortable. <laughs> really? I think it's a coho, but... Oh, maybe not. Oh, oh, just spit it. Oh, he's on. That's just the bait coming off. Oh, wow. Like spit it, eh? Yeah, I thought he did. Beautiful. Monk, monk. It's 
a little toothpick in the teaser head there just to hold the nose in there. And then uh, what I like to do here is a lot of people will just put it down the side. But a little trick here that my, my buddy Ryan, my guy, showed me is you uh, in behind the dorsal fin there, go right under and through. And you just kind of pull her tight and it, the hook kind of sits, sits flat right against the fish. Seems to work pretty good. I find you, uh, you actually, a lot of your hookups actually stay on. You don't lose many fish this way. Oh, you got a fish. You're off. You're off. Oh, yeah. That's a fish. Why That's a sound we like to hear. How's he feel, Bernsey? Feels good. Feels like a fish. Feels like he's coming at us. Oh! No. No. Yikes. I quit. Drop your anchor. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Sport Fishing Adventures. Bernie, right, I think you could be safe. I don't think we have a hog, buddy. I'm gonna get my gear out of the water just to make it easy for I'm you. I'm just hoping that this fish just doesn't woke up. Mike, I'm gonna give the, the viewers a tip here on how to keep your rod tip high. Do that, please. Okay. You know, one thing I noticed with uh, anglers just starting out salmon fishing is, you know, you always talk to the guides and it's about your rod tip, rod tip. And I found something that helps me is a lot of times I used to hold the hold my rod just above my reel and you have a tendency to get your rod tip down. So what I'm yeah. thinking when I grab that rod is grab as far up on the butt end as you can, hold the rod here, let the rod yeah. do the work because it's easier to keep that rod upright and keep a good tension on the fish. Makes sense. Yeah, it's just a little guy, but oh, Woo! nice coho. Yeah, beauty. You got her? Yeah. Come on, buddy. Come on. Like a nice fish there, bud. Just might be. Hey, just battle through some weeds there, cleared your yeah. line. Nice. Oh yeah. Oh, hey, some good head shakes there, eh? Yeah. You can tell when that rod's bouncing side to side like that. Yeah. Right on. I'm real happy for you. Yeah, thanks, yes. man. Keep that line tight, you know. That's the key. Speaking of lines, let's get let's talk a little bit about uh, you know some of the best lines you played on. Well. That's a pretty easy one for me. Um, you know, people don't talk about offensive lines all that often, but played on one in Hamilton. Um, you know, went to back-to-back -back Grey Cups with that group and set all-time records for sacks allowed in back-to-back -back years. In 98, we set the record with uh, 15. Sack record. And then nice. The next year, 99, we gave up seven sacks in 21 games, including wow. the playoffs and everything. And yeah, we were a pretty good team. We had a good quarterback, Danny McManus, who liked to get rid of the ball. So I'm sure uh, but, you guys ate well that year, eh? With uh, Danny taking you guys out to meals. Yeah, Danny took pretty good care of us. Nice. Yeah, nice. that's what for a sure. Good guy. Yeah. Oh, great guy. Great guy. Nice. Nice fish, bud. Feels heavy. He's nice. Yeah. Yeah, pretty beautiful fish. What are high teens, hey? High teenager. Well done. I'm just feeling it there. I just 67, 73. It's just it's a fishy feeling. Whoa. So Mo, we were talking about uh, about stadiums. Yeah and where you know home field advantage and stuff and you played uh, you played even more places than i did 
Yeah. Is there one one stadium that uh, one one rink that stands out to you is one where you guys had a big advantage? Well, there's a couple. Like you know, I always love playing in Vancouver. Yeah. Great fans, and we had some really entertaining teams. You know. Oh yeah. Um, anywhere in Canada, but I really like going to Montreal. Yeah. Playing at the Bell Center. I've heard just that. Just an awesome atmosphere, especially like hockey night in Canada. Yeah. Saturday night, just a really really unique environment there yeah. and uh you know some of the original six teams nowadays like you look at chicago yeah had Great a chance to play to there go, briefly man. and i mean just, just to be a part of that anthem there now yeah is a pretty amazing thing like yeah. uh you know really get goosebumps listening to it i always thought detroit was a was a cool uh you know like an old real old barn i know uh yeah i, Joe I think you left a few teeth there I, yeah yeah i did unfortunately uh but Joe Lewis, you're right, is, is one of those rinks that has a lot of character. Yeah. Some of the newer rinks, are, they, you just have this generic feel, hey? Like, uh, they're all kind of the same. But Joe yeah. Lewis, you know, you can kind of, you know, the Big college team in mind, Mike Canubu, used to say, you know, you can smell the beer and popcorn yeah. when you walk oh, into yeah. that rink. Oh, yeah. Nice fish. Yeah, he's good, good scrap. Not a monster, but he's a nice fish. What do you want to do with him? Well, I think I gotta release them here. Yeah. So we'll just uh, let them go and grow a little bigger. That's a good thing. Drop your anchor. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Sport Fishing Adventures. Hey, Chris, let's talk about the gear we're using out on the yeah. water today. You know, Fenwick HMX 10 foot six mooching rod. Right? Yeah, we use this up and down the coast, catch a lot of fish with these. Handles yep. fish great, yeah. like good backbone, but very sensitive tip to see bites, right? A couple, a couple durable. times a day, you know, a lot of times you get fish that are screaming and it's popped right off the clip, but a couple times yeah. a day we actually had to reel down, we saw the bites, you know, and, and set the hook, so yeah. a little bit of both uh, going on there. And of course we always team them up with our Trophy XL reels, made of a solid block of bar stock aluminum. What I like about them is, you know, they have a little bit larger handles than some reels. <laughs> you know, big hands, right? And uh, large arbor yeah. for quick retrievals. Yeah. And the uh, flashers we're using today, is the Gibbs Delta Highlander UV flashers. And these flashers were fantastic today. Now, this You're is loving kind of this a, one, right? I, I love this one. This is kind of a unique pattern here, and I like it a lot because it's, you know, it's uh, it's almost like a light purpley UV there. And uh, for whatever reason- You like this has, one because it's been catching a ton yeah, of fish for you all year. And it's been awesome. Yeah. This one's my, my favorite I use all the time. Um, you know, it's got that, that bright strip on there. Yeah. Um, you know, I think the concept is to simulate, you know, some, some blood on a fish or something, but yeah. uh, that's a, a real favorite of mine. Real good. And, uh, you know, we, we fished a lot of bait today using the Reese uh, Davis teaser heads. Yeah. Anchovy special. One that worked really well for us today was kind of uh, this blue color here. Got a couple variations of this blue color, but you can see the teeth marks actually all over this yeah. thing from getting chomped out there. So. Uh, yeah, we had a fantastic day on the water. You got something. You got a good bite? Oh, he's coming. Oh, he's off, bud. Where's he coming at you? No, you got him. You got him. You got him. So I was sitting here thinking, why don't we crush another sandwich here? We need a fish. And he's like, just reached in the bag, just touched it, and boom. That's amazing. Coho, bud. Yeah. It's a nice coho. Yeah. You want him? Yeah, I'll take oh, him. Oh, no, no, he's under the rigger. OK. Come here. <laughs> Get over here. Uh, he won't play more. Not a boy, Bernie. Nice lamb. Okay, well, this one's not going to win the contest for me, but uh, beautiful, nice, good sized coho. Five, four, three, two, one. Game over. And once again, Morrison, <laughs> I win. This is uh, this is a very sad I, day. I keep beating you on your home turf. I'm gonna have to keep uh, chasing this bet and find out a way where I can actually win one here. <laughs> I'll tell you, I'm very excited about my poem. So um, am I. So am I, actually. I would argue. <laughs> this is one of those ones I'm not sure that you want to win. But I want a complimentary haiku. Okay. Um, you can figure out what that means. Yeah. And I'll grade you on content, composition. Make sure you follow, you know, the, the rhyme scheme. 
back to school. <laughs> <laughs> Pull out Wikipedia or something. There'll be something on there. Okay. About a I know it's Japanese poetry. I know that. It is. All right. Let's well, get this back. I'll write you a nice poem, and uh, I'll be sure to recite it beautifully for I can't all wait. the viewers. I cannot wait. What a day on the water, though. It's been awesome. You know, been I think awesome. we got into close to 10 fish today. Oh, easy, yeah. Overall, yeah. an awesome day on the water. A guide, Ryan Erickson, from the awesome. Tofino Fishing Club, was, uh, yeah. was stellar. And hey, you know what? I, I always love coming up here. It's one of my favorite places on the planet. You can't beat it. <laughs> the moment of truth right here. I got to face the music. I, I, hey, I, the proof is in the film, man. You got the I biggest beat you fish again. again. You beat me again. I'm really looking forward to this. I want you to, to look deep into my eyes and say <laughs> this, you know, this heartfelt poem. I want to, I want feeling. Well, I don't know if I could stare you directly in the eyes. <laughs> okay. I might have, have to, to look up as we were coming in. I was in deep thought, as you noticed yeah, on the boat there. I did there, notice. Uh, reciting this poem that I'm going to recite for you and our, and our viewers. I nice. hope you like it. I, you know what, I already do. Okay, um, this is a, uh, I would say this is a kind of a loose version of a haiku. Okay, a Japanese I asked for haiku. A haiku. You know, I know haikus aren't supposed to rhyme and all that, but this one kind of does rhyme. Okay, so, so it's, it's like kind a super of loosely haiku. based on a haiku. Okay. Yeah. Okay, here we go. This is Chris Burns' victory haiku. <laughs> to the rod, so fleet. Your sausage hands compete. <laughs> Chinook landed on meat. Tonight will be no sleep. Tossing and turning, I will weep. <laughs> Victory for you must taste sweet. <laughs> it does taste sweet. That was fantastic. I love Thanks, it. Buddy. A lot of hey, deep thought in that. You know what? I appreciate it. it. We had a ton of fun out here. Love coming to Tofino. We, uh, we got a ton of fish. We had a great time as always. Fantastic day. Yeah. Yeah. We'll see you on our next sport fishing adventure. <laughs>